Hey, welcome back to Adam Sam Radio. Today we're well enough to feel like uh, we're going to do a little maintenance on the TS440. Yes, she needs a shot and has some cooling problems, so we're going to address it very, very carefully. So with that, we're going to open her up. See uh, what's going on with her. Stand by one and uh, stay tuned. All right, here's the top board right here. We have to remove this to get to the final amplifier section. So this has all got to come out. Here's the wires. Marking my wires. Coaxial cables, make sure you pull them with a needle nose or whatever because you're going to pull these right out. Not fun. Okay, we got the filter board out. Make sure all your wires are free from where they are. Labels, like a little mark or whatever. Got this connection antenna, this part, and this plate has to come off to get access to the to the uh, RF board. Okay, well, we found our heating issue. Look at that. The heat sink compound has gone it's just deteriorated. I'm just gonna take the RF board out, the amplifier board. These here, all this has got to be heat reheat, uh, heat sunk. I have the grease, and I just oh, right here. This stuff right here, it's uh, the thermal grease. This thing would focus. There we go, thermal grease. I probably have to use two tubes of that crap because this thing gets hot. So. There she is. Get this removed. Oh, cord. Get the heat sink caps off. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, 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 well. Look at that. That's our heating problem right there. What the hell? Wow. This sucker's been hot. Well, we're gonna have to redo it, the regrease. That's dried up. Damn. Alright. Alright, well, we got some grease down. This thing was dry. I mean, 
dry. I just put the uh, mica on this side. But my god, this thing was dry. No wonder why this thing was overheating. Jeez. A little maintenance goes a long ways. I'm glad I did this. Glad I did this. 100%. Uh, there was another problem I noticed. See this post right here? It holds the board in. I had a broken stud in there. I hate this camera. Right there. I had to take it out with a pair of vice grips. So from a, a screw. The head busted off and they left it in there. But we got it out, so... We're doing everything we can to get this thing cool again. And I tell you, it's just... It gets a workhorse radio, but man, I tell you, when it gets hot, it gets hot. So that's that's the uh, that's the culprit. Everything was dried out. I got everything. I I just went through one tube. I got to go through another tube for the top uh, for the uh, resistors and all that, sh the, the diodes and all that, where it gets to the finals. All right, stand by one. Well, we got the board back in, all the screws. All that's got to be all reset down. I'm to reset down. Now I got to put heat sink compound in here and this one here. Uh, if this thing is not focusing properly, but you get the gist of them doing it. It has to have some here, here, what's necessary. But first, I'm going to hook up all the wires needed and I'll put the filter board on. And we'll test it, see if the fan, uh, see if the thing works okay. To my satisfaction, I guess. But there's a lot of dang wires. But that's why you take you document everything you're doing before you rip things apart like this. But anyways, uh, yeah, 73. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the top of it, the heat sink compound. It's a, it's like a goldish color. It's a high temp uh, heat sink compound, but boy, is it messy. <clears throat> I hate, I put everything on everything. I don't care because it keeps it cool. Especially when it has like a, a diode across it. It's like a protection diode or whatever. And it has a sensor. It sensors in there for the heat to, to break it down to shut the thing down. Which it has been before, but uh, I don't think it's going to have a problem now. This thing's got plenty. Well, it's two tubes of heat sink, but they're only a uh, compound. They're only about, the vials are only about that big, not, not even. There's just enough to do a whole job right here. Two, you know, one job for two tubes. And uh, that's the maintenance we got on this this bugger. And uh, hopefully she'll, uh, she ain't going to overheat again. I hope not. But it shouldn't. This thing is pretty well heat sink greased up. All right, stand by. Now we got the uh, top tray on. Now we got to put the uh, the, the, the uh, relay board, filter board. It's got to go in there, plop in there. All this for the for the heat problem. That's where I kind of figured. But anyways, be right back. It's all uh, back together. We're uh, keying up on a dummy load here. 10 watts. Yeah. Test it back. Oh, is she getting warm? A little bit. Wait for this thing to kick out. It hasn't kicked out yet.
Mr. Beck. Oh, it's not as hot as it used to be, but it's warm. Let me put my hand on it for a few more minutes. Hmm. Let's see. She getting hot now. All right, better let off. Let's see if it cuts out. Sorry about the jiggleness. <laughs> trying to trying to figure out. Okay, get to the point, buddy. What what is the point here? Number one, Sierra Charlie Alpha.
I don't care about that stuff. But it's not getting hot. That's good. Anyways, uh, hopefully this video uh, kind of helps a little bit. We're near the middle here, hoping it didn't get anybody sick because I had to find a way how to key this dang radio up. I didn't have my mic gain up. Anyways, this is the last of it I'm going to do. I'm feeling better and we're, we got this, got this done. I wanted to get it done for so long and got it done. All these radios here are all been serviced and that's very good. 7-3, we'll catch you on the next one.